photography guy, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Are you sure? Yes, it I think like so. It feels like it's been half an hour trying to get this video up and going. I know it. It's okay, I don't mind. Very good. <laughs> we're here now though, right? Yes, That's what we're matters. Here. Yes. So are you guys ready to find out my current top five, five, just only five, current top five fragrances that I'm reaching for right now, this day, this week, this month? Keep watching. Welcome back to Bougie Fragrance. I'm Dawn, photography guy. What's up? He's got this really bright light in my eye, so yes. I really am just struggling to, to look at the camera today. So if I look away, don't, don't hate, don't hate. Just don't hate. Yeah, don't hate. don't hate. Don't hate. Don't hate. So we're gonna cover my current top five, and then we're gonna talk about an upcoming giveaway. And then we're gonna talk about my keto update. We're on week four. And I'm gonna fill you in on that, and then we're gonna cover what photography guy did this week. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's start with the top five, right? Top five, let's do it. Okay, so in no particular order, because I have them in no particular order, we're gonna start with one of them that I'm currently wearing all the time and I can't stop reaching for. It's Lancome's La Via Belle. And I'm telling you, don't, don't, don't look at my nails because I took them off to let my fingers breathe. I'll get them back on soon, but right now I just decided I'm just gonna give them a break. Livia Bell by Lancome. This is a gorgeous fragrance. This fragrance is came out in 2012. It's sweet, vanilla, balsamic, woody, fruity, and powdery. And this is definitely one. It gets compliments after compliments after compliments after compliments. It doesn't stop on any time I wear this. You can see that I am sucking the life right out of this, which is what I do with any fragrance that I truly, truly love, as well as you. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that you guys do the same thing. I don't know if you knew, but right on, on the cap, it says La Vie Belle on the, on the lid of the actual sprayer itself. I love the bottle. I love the fragrance. I'm going to need a bigger one. Uh oh. Photography guy. Uh oh. Don't you love this? Yeah, I it's do. It's the sweet, yes. right? Yes, very nice. And I find a trend with the ones I like. They're they're vanilla, they're sweet. Yep. Maybe the almond accords in them. There's this is just what I'm gravitating towards right now. So leave La Vie Belle by Lancome is one of them and super fab. Love it so much. It's always a hit with me. My next one's a little bit more on the spicier side. Samsara by Guerlain. You can see that I am sucking the juice right out of this one as well, because uh -oh. that's what I am. What am I, photography guy? Yeah. Right. I'm a, what am I? When I'm sucking the juice out. Yeah. I'm a? Juice sucker. I'm a juice sucker. <laughs> that's me. I am a juice sucker. That's what I do. They're mine. I'm going to wear them. And I, gosh, I love this so much. Oh, I, I just, uh, mm. one of my new, really seriously favorites that I'm just always reaching towards. I do find that I have somebody at work that says, I don't like that. She's just not a fan. I don't understand, but I still wear it because I love it. I love it so much. So Semsera is actually one of their bee bottle, new bee bottle in the fragrances. And it was came out in 1989. It's powdery, it's woody, it's balsamic, it's floral, and it's also yellow floral. So gosh, I know this probably should be a spring summer, but I can't. I can't stop wearing this. I love Samsara. Well, in, in Florida, it's summer all the time. It really is summer all the time here. But Sorry. I love this fragrance. Samsara is, it's another one of those, kind of like the Tom Ford Black Orchid, that right. when they made it, they had me in mind. I mean, they're like, this is, I'm making this for Dawn. They they know. They do, they do. This, this is one. I, gosh, I can't get enough of this fragrance. I just can't. I'm actually, I'm gonna go on to the next one. Let's see what I'm reaching for in my pocket. <gasps> Benevolence by House of Siage. Uh, it had to be a cuppy cake. It, it, vanilla bomb, right? Yep. It did have to be a cuppy cake, didn't it? Yep. I only have five. I still have two more that I want and then I'm pretty sure that I'm done because my cake dish is gonna be full and I won't yeah. have anywhere else to put them because of, uh, I definitely have a storage problem up here. A little bit. I definitely do. A little bit. So as you look at this gorgeous, gorgeous bottle of benevolence, I'm gonna tell you that it came out in 2012. It's also, again, it's sweet, white floral, vanilla, floral, and almond. Look at that bottle. Very cool. Gosh. All them, all them cupcakes the are really cool. It's the Swarovski crystals that definitely set it off. Yeah. The camera does not 
it doesn't pick this up. The camera cannot get the sparkle of a Swarov Swarovski crystal. Swarovski crystals, I find, because I've I have everything. They're all in my truck. They're everywhere. They're, they're everywhere. I find them best to sparkle the most in a, what kind of lighting photography guy? LEDs. LED lights or yeah. straight up sunshine. Yep. Sunshine. But this fragrance, I can't stop wearing right now. I just, oh, I can't get enough benevolence. I need, I'm probably going to need another bottle. <laughs> I will. Photography guy, I'll, yes. I'll be patient though because yes, I've patient. got so much other stuff I have to redo. So much. And we're talking about a do. I'm, I'm talking, I talked to Photography Guy Corporate about doing maybe a new mini kind of fragrance haul because I do still have some to review, but I gotta get my fix. Yeah, she's always gotta have her fix. I gotta get my fix. So Photography Guy Corporate's kind of agreed to it. So that's gonna be coming up. Let's do my next one, Photography Guy, okay? Okay. So this is Ellie Saab. Girl of Now Shine. Uh, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I recently reviewed this, but oh my gosh, look at that bottle. It's gorgeous. Girl of Now Shine came out in 2018. It's again sweet, fruity, almond, woody, nutty, and vanilla. I'm so seem to be in the fruit, vanilla, the almond. Mm, right. And who doesn't like a good woody smell? Right. Smell. Right. Smell. A good woody smell. So gosh, this bottle, I love Girl of Now. I, I, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna pull that down too. You can see that I've got, Girl of Now has kinda got a lot out of there too. Oh, so yeah, this one's the Girl of Now. This is my newer one, Girl of Now Shine. I still have Girl of Now Forever to do an unboxing and that's coming up within the next one or two videos. Maybe the next video I'll do it because I really need to get in that box and see what it smells like. But Girl of Now Shine, is definitely one that I'm currently gravitating to, and I love it so much. Ellie Saab knows what they're doing. They know how to blend fragrances. They know how to blend. So I'm gonna put this one back. I can't believe I didn't choose one of the Paco Rabans because I love them as well. They're great. And so my next one, Photography Guy, can you guess? Um, He's looking on the shelves. I'm looking on the shelves. Are shelf. you scanning really well? I'm scanning really What's well. What's missing? I have no clue. All right, what <laughs> fragrance do I love so much it's almost empty? That might help you. Um. Okay, let me reference no, this. Oh gosh. Let me reference a person. Yeah. Fragrantitions feet in the air, heels in the yeah, air. Yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. Scandal. Scandal. Oh my God, I love it. Look what I've done to the, I sucked, sucked, sucked. You did, wow. I did, I did. I sucked it so hard. It's not there, it's almost non-existent. Am I gonna oh have to God. put a lock on the panic room here? Why, so I don't wear my fragrances? <laughs> Who would do that to a girl? Photography know. guy. Okay, this one, I, I'm, so right now I pretty think I've sprayed most of these on myself, except this one. I don't think, I, oh, Scandal. He makes me say Scandal, but yeah. it's it's Scandal in where we come from, a Scandal, but he likes the expression in his yes. words, so Scandal. Oh my gosh, this is good. All right, so Scandal, as you look at that gorgeous bottle with those gorgeous heels in the air, Scandal came out in 2017. It's honey, again, sweet, white floral again, citrus, patchouli, and caramel. So you see, my pattern here. You can definitely see what's going on here. I like sweet. I like yeah, sweet. Yeah. I like sweet. I like vanilla. I like light powdery. I like some white florals and some florals. I like yellow florals. Not a fan of watermelon. I don't care what you no, throw at yeah. me. I'm not, I give anything watermelon away that I find and didn't research the notes. Watermelon is not in my life. It's non-existent. Probably nothing on my shelf has watermelon in it. If you see one, let me know, but I really don't think there's watermelon in it. Anything I have back there because I don't like it. Most people love watermelon, but I'm just not a fan. Yeah, I'm not a fan either. I'm no, not no. a fan. So there you go. There's my lineup for my current top five that I'm gravitating for this month, this week, right now, currently. I can't stop wearing them. Photography guy. Yes. What is going on? I don't know. I'm gonna hide that one. Juice sucking. Yeah, I'm gonna hide that one. Oh God, I smell so good right now. I smell so good. I smell so good. All right. What should we move into now, photography guy? Keto update? Um. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, we're gonna do our keto update. So this is week four. We're moving into week five of our 
full-fledged, full-blown keto, 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 keto. <laughs> we are doing less than 10 gram carb, carbs a week. It's, it's hard. It's really hard. We cheated last Saturday. We went to Olive Garden after our first 30 days. We cheated. We went to Olive Garden. We had pasta. We had bread. We had cookies when we got home. We had four Mai Tais. Mai Tais are really sweet, so you can imagine what that did. Photography guy, how much weight did you gain on cheating? That one day? That one day. Three pounds. Me too. I gained three pounds. I three gained pounds. three pounds from cheating. So four weeks into this, with our three pound weight gain sheet for each of us, photography guy, how many pounds are you down? 14. 14 pounds in, in four weeks. So yes. that's a huge accomplishment. And you're at your goal weight right now, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, I'm happy where so I'm at. So he's ready to have a drink tonight and just yes. throw it in my face. Look, look I what am. I can do. Absolutely. So my goal is much <laughs> larger. Larger. I My goal is to lose 100 pounds. I am so happy. I'm so excited. In this four week period, photography guy, what did I do? How much did I lose? 20 pounds. 20 pounds in four 20 weeks. Pounds. I, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So I'm hopefully within the next six months get to my goal. I am this week coming up going to have two 48 hour fasts with just water. So Monday and Tuesday, I'm not eating any food. I'm just drinking water. Wednesday, I will have a lunch, a light lunch. And then Thursday and Friday, I will fast again. And hopefully that'll get some more of this weight dropped off. This past week, if I wouldn't have gained the three pounds from going to Olive Garden and having a drink fest, I would have lost six pounds yep. just this week alone, yep. this past week alone. But I failed, I'm never cheating again. It's <laughs> never gonna happen. I learned my lesson yeah. until yeah. I get to my goal weight. I've got 80 more yep. pounds to go. I'm so excited because I am so full-fledged, blown, throwing myself into this. We're doing, at work, we're doing a, um, what's it called? It's a challenge. Yeah, uh, the a weight biggest challenge. Loser yeah, Biggest Loser. Something like that, yes. So whoever wins at the end of a 12-week period, we started four weeks ago and I just jumped on board. So everybody gave $60 and there's two winners at the end of 12 weeks. One winner will get half of it, and that's the winner that loses the most weight. Another woman, another winner, because we have a man included, another winner will lose the most inches in their waist. We'll get the other half of the pot. The, so yeah, I'm in it to win it for sure. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So 20 pounds in my first four weeks in photography, guys, 14. Yes. We would have been three more pounds down if we wouldn't have cheated. We spent the first major part of last week trying to take those pounds back off and it was so hard. So no more cheating until I get to my goal weight and after my goal weight, I know how to fast to get it right back off again. So I mean, I'm, I'm gonna have a burger and fries and I'm gonna have a milkshake and I'm gonna have some Mai Tais again because I yes. love them so much, but not until I lose 80 more pounds. So I'm holding steadfast at this. And also Cassandra Jones on her channel, Cassandra Jones is the, yes. her channel name. She's also doing the keto diet and she's doing really well too. So go ahead and check up on her. I'll leave her channel link in the description below. So keep keep checking up on her too and join the club, join us. It's, it's not that hard. If you have any questions on how I've gotten the 20 pounds off so far in four weeks, just let me know. I'll tell you what I'm eating. Well, I'll tell you now. Eggs, eggs, right? Eggs, Photography eggs. guy with really good grass fed butter, really good butter, a healthy butter. Bacon, you can have all the bacon you want. Who would have known? Yeah. Who would have known? Bacon. Bacon. Cheese. Um, tuna salad, chicken salad, cheese, yep. egg salad, and salad. Lots and lots and lots of salad. And instead of croutons, I found out that you just can fry up some Parmesan in little circles in your skillet and flip it over and get it crispy. Put it on your salad. You've got Parmesan cheese chips on your salad and a very low carb salad dressing. Perfect. It's perfect. A lot of tacos with cheese taco shells. That's what we're doing yeah. these days. But yeah. photography guy. Yes. Besides the whole keto thing. Yes. What did you do this week? <sighs> what happened on the highway? 
I I was going down the highway and my car started acting funny. And your car, you love your car. I I'll love my car. Yes, I you love have my a car. what do you drive? A BMW Z4. And but it's old. Or? It's old. It's a 2005. It's paid for. It's it's. It's your yeah, pride and joy. It's the my love pride of your and life. joy. It's got 200,000 miles on it. And uh, car one, wife second, dog third. Yeah, driving. something like that. Gosh. Not necessarily in that. <laughs> Uh, but I was, going down, I was going down 75 here in Florida, coming home from work, and my car started acting funny, and I looked in my rear view mirror, and it was just smoke everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I got off the highway, and I did not make it back to the shop where, where I work, and I, I had to be yeah. towed back. I'm at work, and I yes. get a text going, my car's done. It's over. It's over. I'm it's gonna over. die. It's done. Yes. <laughs> so go ahead. I got the car back to the shop and uh, uh, came home. I I, I got a, a work van. I drive. I drove the van home and went back the next day and started calling around and had it checked out and it it took it took the transmission out. <laughs> um, very 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 expensive to fix. So throw out a US dollar amount for what it's costing to have this transmission fixed. $4,700. I thought it was 45. No, 47. Oh my gosh, it hurts even more. <laughs> I can't do this. So it's a 2005. It's got almost how many miles on it, Photography Guy? Almost 200,000 miles. This is how much this guy loves this car. Yes. Why didn't he take that $4,700 and go buy another car? I tried. I tried she hard. Did. I'm she like, tried. go get a new car. I, I can't do Just it. go get a new car. No. And he goes, I can't. I love my car. So, so hey, his car is yeah, in the shop I, and he gets it back. What? Uh, it's supposed to be Monday or, or early Tuesday. Or Tuesday. Yeah. They've had it for uh, five days now trying to fix it all. <laughs> the point is is he loves his car yes. and he uh, loves I, it so much to dump another car, yeah. car's worth into his car because right. and that money could have been bought in another car. Right. And the big thing is this is, and I've owned the car almost 10 years. He and loves his car. This is the first time anybody else has ever wrenched on it. No one ever touches it. No. Uh, nobody. No. I, I do all the work on it. But we just don't have the time right uh, now yeah. anymore yeah. like you used to. to to fix your car. Yeah, I just so don't have So he's time. having somebody else do the work, but he's always, always fixed his own car. He just put a front end under it. What, six months ago? Yeah, six months. A new front, front end under it because yep. you know it's 2005 and it's going to need some work. Yep. But he won't let it go. Not yet. He I can't. won't let it go. I can't. He is devoted. That's why he's still with me. He is one <laughs> devoted person. He loves his dog. He loves his car, and he loves his wife. Yes. He's got three women that he pines for every day, and yep. we appreciate it. And his car. I'm sure she appreciates it, but she's she being a bitch. She is. <laughs> <laughs> she's showing her ass so bad yeah, right now, but yeah. she better she better straighten up or fly right, or I, I will talk him into getting a new newer edition. Yeah. Okay, I think photographic guy. We've talked everybody's heads off. Yes. Twenty pounds. Fourteen yes. pounds. Fourteen. What about? Fourteen pounds. Yes, fourteen. 14 pounds. What about what? <gasps> I forgot. There's going to be a giveaway coming up. Yes, a giveaway. So. In my past video, I showed everybody that I got Photography Guy a stainless steel 30 ounce tumbler that has a picture of his car on it. Yes. And it says BMW Z4, and on the bottom it has the BMW Z4 or Z4 logo. No, BMW logo. BMW logo. Yeah. And they did it in blue and covered it in resin, and it's beautiful. And they cost around $50 if you have it shipped, $45 if she can deliver it to us. They live close to us, so we don't have to pay for shipping. But. I'm having two of them made, one for me and one to give away. And it's gonna have our bougie fragrance logo on it. And it's gonna have our tagline, which is never leave your house naked, always rock a day with the fragrance. I'm talking so fast because I'm sure you guys are tired of listening to me talk. And the bottom of it's gonna have that perfume bottle from our logo. It's gonna be black glitter on the bottom with pink chunkies in it. And it's gonna be lovely, but I'm going to give it away to a lucky winner that comments a lot. It's gonna to be to a high commenter, a, a common commenter. Right. If you're not in the United States at this time, you will still have an opportunity to win. But if you're in the United States, I'm gonna load that cup up with some decants from my collection. And if you'd like, you can send me when you send me a message in your in the email that if you've won. You can tell me what you want to try that's in my collection and I'll decant those and put them in there for you as well. So keep watching for that giveaway. It's coming up. We yeah, haven't we even picked it up yet. We should have it next weekend. Yeah, next weekend. So really soon. So watch for that giveaway because I'm super, super, super excited about the Bougie Fragrance Cup. Super excited. 
And if it's really, really gonna be an interest, we might make it a merch on our website when we get our website up and running. It's something we're working on, hopefully into early next year. We'll see, we never know. We're still working on our fragrance. Yeah, we're, the we're Dawn of Creation. so much to do. There's just so much going on, but that's it. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna close out by saying never leave your house naked. Always rock your day with a fragrance. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Ring that bell, photography guy. Ding, 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 ding. Right? And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment in the comment section below telling us what your fragrance of the day is because I'd like to know what I'm going to have to purchase that next because yes. I got clearance to get some fragrances. She does. Even though what we did with <laughs> my car excited. happened, she's got a I little got clearance. play okay. money. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Photograph guy. Bye. Bye.